Uh, Need a hand. <laughs> Help. He's going to climb up now, isn't he? Probably, yeah. Uh, Come so on, Suddenly, then. he's going to see you, and he's going to be inspired, and he's going to get some wicked upper body strength. He's just going to go, yeah! Yep, there he comes. Just fucking powered his way up there. And, you know, huh. decided to hit you for reasons best known only to himself. Mace doesn't even one-shot them. What a waster. Well, we'll see how you go against right. who this dude is. Let's be having you. Do you know who this guy is? Because he did, it didn't say invasion like, when, when no, he... No, did it. Yeah, yeah. He's a guy getting backstabbed is what he is. Alright, so only... only oh, they have invincibility frames. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, that moment of dread when they hit you and that's the last of your endurance and you see the extra attack pattern winding up. You are not learning. Alright. Yay. Oh, hello. Oh, he's, he's stuck. That's... There you go, one hit. Thanks for waiting. And... Crimson Sword is dead, so... Uh, well, we could just go to the boss fight or we could risk getting that. It I want to see this boss. I want to see what he looks like. I want to okay. see what this is about. Well, you say he. Alright, what's her name? Betty? It's not really a she Betty either. Betty Bludgeon Punch. Ah, oh, okay, it's just a collection of swords. Cutscenes. So good. Is is this like a horde boss? It's a slightly weird boss. Uh. It's the executioner's chariot. Oh, I regret this. And now we have to get into a wall. Okay. This feels like a silly boss. Ow, 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 ow. Um, hmm, what's that about? Well, basically, the skeletons won't die until we kill those guys. Alright. Oh, I'll just keep good. coming back otherwise. Oh. Yeah, stand out there. Yeah. I hear it's, it's nice. It's, 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 it sounds fun. Oh, look, you can pat the horsey. <laughs> I didn't fucking one kill him. Bullshit. Well, so how do you actually hit the... Do you slow them down? Is there a lever you got to pull? You know, what sort of, uh, what sort well, of shenanigans you, are we well, doing if with you there? just watch and pay attention, maybe you'll find out. There's still a dude alive, like, raising them up. That's... My hole, go away! T.E. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, look at that business. He's got stuff dragging behind him and everything. Yeah, he's uh, having a fun time. Alright, so there's lovers. That doesn't seem safe. Oh, well, I was wrong. Um. Are we going to full run? Oh, no, we haven't. Okay, that's gone too out. far now. Uh, 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 get the hole. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Oh, that was not great. Oh, you missed a fucking Hadouken. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, uh. And there he <laughs> <laughs> So, we're just in like... Right, now don't do that. Some fucking undead hillbillies NASCAR bullshit. Yeah, I got me a chariot! I got fire horses attached! Douglas was shown through the strange house whose name was... Primrose. Wilma Valderrama. And into... Followed the noise of a bustling audience into what turned out to be a large furniture warehouse. It was full of bustling lamps and chairs. Okay. And the bare skin rugs and they were all arguing until they were all silenced by a majestic Chesterfield stood among them and said brothers I know we all question our existence but the answer has finally arrived in the form of an undead human what got me 
and all eyes turned on Douglas. But Douglas could only shrug and say, I'm sorry, I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> of course you don't, said the Chesterfield. That is why you must take the journey. What journey? asked Douglas. But the answer was not forthcoming as there came a great hammering upon the door. And then Stephen Confident's voice rang out. Hey! He said, I hear voices in there. Has anyone seen my car? I've lost it and everything's gone weird. Douglas looked oh, for the sake. Do you yeah. have to hold forward when you do the like lunges now? Because I thought it was just like tap at one. Like no, you're just a crap out. <sighs> Douglas was looked to the room full of furniture for advice as Stephen prepared to enter the room, but all the furniture had mysteriously gone back to normal, or at least was pretending to have done so. Sneaky furniture. Uh, what is your opinion of the hero worship that Valve get from a large number of gamers? Do you think it's justified based on their repertoire of good games and the services provided by Steam, by Nabarek? Well, I think they do good stuff. You were almost an employee, weren't you? Well, they interviewed me. Yeah. Well, that's, that's closer than most to get. Well, you'd be surprised. They interview a lot of people. Oh, all right. Because, you know, they want to hire the cream of the uh, industry. And absolutely... And all the people they hire could work wherever they want, really. I suppose uh, having you know, Valve on your resume is a fairly ringing endorsement. I mean, as... What were you uh, interviewed for? What were you, what were you doing there? Haven't we talked about this? Have we? I wasn't really interviewed for any specific role. They don't do specific roles oh. at Valve. They're more, uh, you know, a place where shit gets done. Although not many video games of late. Gabe Newell just wanted to stroke your face. I think they're fine as a sort of video gaming entity that does things related to video games. All right, that's the as a developer. They've kind of been wanting lately, because as good as their, as their games have been, they got to actually bring them out every now and again. Yeah, when was the last actual release? When... I don't know. They, they keep updating all their shit. That's what everything's occupied with, I suppose. Mm. Team Fortress 2 is still getting regular updates. Because huh. mm. that's what the money wasn't is. Wasn't like Half-Life episode... You know, the Half-Life 2, the episodes, weren't they supposed to be a regular thing? Jesus, man, this is, this is like Eons ten, years, ago, ten yeah. years ago now. Well, that's the last thing I remember, was just like, oh, we're going to do episodes of on the 2 engine, and everyone was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, they did episode 1, and they did episode 2, and left, episode 2 was on a cliffhanger, okay, and, and then, that's the last we heard of it. Yeah. And every now and again, a rumour comes up that they're working on Half-Life 3, but they refuse to actually announce it. But more for them, because the fact that episode 2 ended on a cliffhanger yeah. was a de facto announcement that there was going to be another one. So they can't... So they're kind of in denial in, in that front by refusing to announce it. Mm. But who cares, really? Yeah. I mean, the thing about Half-Life is that it's always been sort of transformative. And technology just hasn't advanced in any interesting enough ways. To not just even VR? To... Well, not really. I mean, I'm talking more about, you know, rendering software and stuff. The first Half-Life was uh, a revolution. And it was doing, like, skeletal animation in the Quake engine and uh, linear storytelling and realistic weapons and physics and stuff. Half-Life 2 was the first game to have a proper physics engine. Yeah, physics there's, puzzles. There's, there's just nothing as revolutionary that it can do at this point to justify a new one, I think. I think part of Half-Life's identity is being uh, revolutionary at the time. Hmm. But, yeah, there's no, there are no revolutions to fight right now. Nothing going on, nothing happening. Technology VR, kind of... Yeah, so VR's more sort of uh, delivery medium than mm. something that can drive creativity. Half-Life 3 will be released as like a sort of download for your new brain software. It'll, it'll be the first game on Better Than Life or something. Yeah, probably. It'll... 
That's that's what better than life is. Everyone like half the population is better than life is just Half Life Three coming out. But will the audience still remember by the time it comes out? Um, with our species penchant for retro, probably. It's kind of there's a point where it's kind of futile to try to continue a franchise. I mean, who's that lady who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird? Harper Lee. Yeah, she that's just wrote that. a new one. A book. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> one book she fucking wrote. Let's leave it a bit late. Yeah, I mean that might be different because it's a considered a literary classic. And then Atticus Finch is like a racist now or something apparently. But then writing sequels to literary classics—that's kind of <coughs> silly. Yeah, I'm kind of confused as to why she did it. Did like, you know really? there's a? Did you know there was a sequel to Catch Twenty Two? No, I did not. I have it on my shelf. Huh? What's it called? It's called Closing Time. It's not that good. It's where all the characters are elderly and trying to get by in modern life. <laughs> it's a wacky sitcom. Anyway, let's fight this chariot I some more. Like, yeah, okay, I, let's fight this chariot. This and this is just fucking NASCAR hillbilly of the underworld. Yeah, the idea is we sort out these skeleton summoners first. Do they stay dead? Are they respawners? The summoners uh, don't come back. All right. Well, you only got one to deal with, then. That's good. Well, there's two. Do the summoners... Wait, wasn't there just one left that you were sort of cuddling with in the... Oh, well, the summoners have come back now. They don't come back after you've killed them. <laughs> Aw. Should have been knocked over by that. Ah, uh, this isn't fun. Well, they take off so little stamina, might as well just... Yeah, they, 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 they get... Yeah, that. Oh, fucker. Yeah. Well... That was me okay. getting complacent, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's the doom of this fucking game. You get so used to you run through it becomes automatic, and then you start making dumb fuck mistakes. Well, let's see you get to the boss fight for once this time. Yeah, that's this is this is my steps in Philadelphia to run up. Have you tried <laughs> Sticks, Master of Shadows? A question by Gobbling Nash. Nope. Who was probably gobbling Nash even as Wait, he wrote that This is where question. a guy comes from behind. Where are you? No, it isn't. Yeah, the guy came from behind and got you. Not here, it wasn't. Well, I have tried Sticks Master Shadows because it was recommended to me. I was surprised I didn't. Uh, uh. It was it wasn't on my radar when it came out. It's a sort of fantasy stealth game. Oh, cool. It's not like what style? Uh, you know. Pixels or polys? No, no, it's full on 3D. Oh, cool. It's kind of like AAA material, but it's oh. not by a big publisher, I don't think. And I, I, yeah, like, I'm, like I said, I was surprised I didn't notice it. It reminded me a little bit of, from what little I've played, it reminded me a little of Beyond Good and Evil. That's a good game. But with uh, much more of the stealth focus. Ah, oh, fucking rats. They're not rats. Oh, that guy's going to take the long way. Why did you guys activate this time? My frames. Got to keep your wits about you, man. Hey, a life jam. All right. That was good. Right, come on. Come on. There we go. Calm to daddy. All right. That should be the shit coming from behind situation largely dealt with. Oh, I also went to the California Academy of Science when I was in San Francisco. Oh, cool. What's that about? Is that like the science center in Brisbane, but like wacky big? Because that's what I imagine. Sort of. It's got like a living rainforest. Wow. And you can go in... Uh, yes, thank you, Jesus. You can go into like a glass tunnel under a big aquarium and see all the fish swimming about. Oh, cool. Well, actually, the aquarium on the bay has the exact same feature. Because I went there as well. I think I, it's like mandatory for aquariums these days. I got a really good photo of me with a stingray looming up behind me. <laughs> Took like a whole bunch of tries to get a good one going. It's funny that they seem to love to do that. Like, oh, yeah, there's, there's a person with a camera. Up I come. <laughs> well, you say that, but, you know, they were always just getting out of reach just as you were taking the picture. But they did seem to delight in swimming up right up close to the glass behind people. So you turn around and go, Bleh! a huge smiley face. All right, so roll on a second seems... Ah, ah. you fucking god damn it. <laughs> god fucking damn it. Yeah, sometimes for some reason all the guys in this place just aggro at the same time. You gotta inch forward. Oh, this is not good. I'm not ready for this. No, you really aren't. 
Uh, fuck it, fuck dead. it, fuck it, fuck it. I was doing... I, uh. God damn it. Man, this chariot's just gonna be rolling forever, isn't it? Chariot, keep on rolling. I hang my head and cry. That kind of bums me, because I was on what? a reasonable point there. Something's bumming you besides me. Yes. Tell me so I may kill them. <laughs> You're a jealous lover. Jealousy knows no bounds. I once think... drove into state wearing a nappy in order to kill somebody. What's been in the news lately? Uh, uh, America shot a place up again. What the... <laughs> the usual. <laughs> Which of the three incidents are you referring to there? Yeah, I know. Uh, Australia has a new leader because we, oh, yeah. we trade it every now and again now. That, that was the big thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Five prime ministers in as many years. We just won't be satisfied, will we? We're yeah. like the Arab Spring. What What is fucking priceless about this one is just the, the enormous fucking huge deal that the current party that just had a leadership spill made about the prior party when they had a leadership spill. Yeah, that's the irony here, isn't it? Yeah, They're all like, and, ooh, the grown-ups are back in charge. I know, they, it, was, it was huge. Like, it was, this party cannot be trusted. They've had a leadership. Look at them, they're fucking incompetent. Like, like yeah, on so, and on and on and on about it. Suddenly no one's going to be able to play that card for some time, are I they? I really wish, yeah, like, just... I want this to... It won't, but I'd like to imagine that this would lead to a slight maturing of the political discourse where it's like okay look shit happens sometimes i prefer you get rid of a leader that you think is incompetent than leave him around like it's, it's anyway after narrowly uh beating a poll in which uh, absolutely no one else was on the other end of the ballot yeah tony abbott has finally been ousted by malcolm turnbull well that was how abbott won in the first place was like, like the um when abbott got elected to the leadership it was fucking hilarious because Everybody hated him, and everyone was like, he's unelectable. Like, he has spent so much of his time being, like, a savage jerk that there's just too much ill will toward him. And by the end of it, I mean, he was losing popularity polls to, like, herpes. Yeah. He was. He really seemed to be working really hard at being the most hateful motherfucker in modern politics. The best part... Where did you come from? The best part is not even just to, like you know, Labour voters or left-wing people who would just sort of naturally dislike his politics. Like, I know people who would rate themselves as conservatives Shit. who loathed him. Like, I think my, you know, my, my, uh, they're doing it. They're dogpiling. Yeah. I think my favourite thing was slowly watching the um, tech website Delimiter, which would pride itself on us being, we're about tech. And they said once the NBN started to get politicised, look, we're just going to talk about the tech. We're going to talk about, like, if someone says that, you know, a multi... The National Broadband Network. Yeah. That's what the NBN is. Was. Maybe may, maybe one day again. Just call um, me Yahtzee Croshaw, the human glossary. Acronymizer. Um, and so, yeah, Delimiter were really, really even keel in the beginning. And, like, almost to a, you know, to a point of absurdity. Like, they'd go out of their way to try and be, like, even-handed. You see, it became a politicized issue because Rupert Murdoch didn't want it to happen. Yeah. So he supported whatever party... It would not do it. Yeah. Because it would, like, interfere with the profits he made People with, like, Foxtel. Yeah, yeah fucking Foxtel. And so, that's why the Murdoch papers were all rabidly pro-Abbott early on in his career. And in, in what I would consider the most utterly blind to popular opinion way that any form of media outlet has ever been. Really fascinating to watch. It's, I mean, like, every kick this mob out, I think. was like, like, uh... Abbott is great. Abbott is doing an amazingly well job. Look what a great what guy the? he is. And this was like some way into the point that everyone realized what an ass hat he was. <laughs> um, yeah, and so Delimiter went from that to sounding like a Xeroxed fucking uh, socialist pamphlet. <laughs> Just gradually as the government would lie directly about the capacity of the sort of stupid not NBN plan they had, you know, then completely just basically lie about when they were going to get finished, how much it was going to cost, lie about, you know, what the opposition had said they were going to get There's done. There's a guy that way, and he uh, took me by surprise. Okay. So kill him. Oh, 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 all right. And that's kill that skeleton I'm too. never going to get leaping slash on this. Is... No, I think you should just give up on that, man. I have very rarely leaping slash. Unless the guy hasn't seen me and I've got the higher ground and, you know... 
you're gonna get a, a down. Nope. Spank. Yeah. All right, we're doing well. All and right. you knew Tony Abbott was on the way when even the Murdoch papers were against him. Yeah, like I said, I've got you know my own sort of friend who labels himself a conservative, although he labels himself as like a, you know kind of weird mod conservative. Which does he say libertarian? That's what no. most people who are like conservative but don't want to admit it call themselves. Well, they they're, you know they're the ones who are conservative but aren't like weird religious fundamentalists or homophobes. I'll admit to having some libertarian leanings just because I make so much money. It's, it's, in, my, it's in my best interest. Oh, God fucking damn it, Wes. Yeah, you rolled a bit too far forward there, mate. Can I change out to the... Where is it? Where is it? It's right below where you were. It's there. No, I was trying to get to the fucking Stabo Lance. Yeah, that's where it was. Oh, okay. But... Uh, I don't... I'm, uh, I'm surprised I even needed to give you this particular survival tip, but don't try to change your equipment when you're being chased by three guys. In oh, I, no, that was like just What a, the okay. fuck is wrong with you? Well, that was why I said, I wonder if I can get away with this. Because was, it was a suicide mission, but I thought I'd give it at the old college try. Let's try and sprint for the boss. Might as uh, well now. Roll fucking yes. All right, I've got some health. Got some stamina. Let's run for this shit. Da, 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 da. Come in to fight you, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the fight left you then, didn't it? Give me that. Ah, uh, I thought it was like uh, just a graphical difference, and that the whole thing was a standing surface. Yo, make your excuses. That was hilarious, and I'm gonna laugh in your face. I survived the fucking horde of whips and douchebags. Yeah, because you ran like a scared little girl. Yeah. Anyone could do that. Bus. I'm going to do that now. All right, yeah, make it, make it, make it. This is Sprintsville now. Yeah, so uh, Abbott's a prick. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. Abbott's now a we prick, have... and now he's a politically dead prick. Oh, just so dead. It was at the point when, like, um, John Howard was going, eh, maybe just step back from the edge there, buddy. That's when you know you 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 again just pissing everybody off like people see, who are supposed to be your base people who you know, it's okay to piss people off who don't like you but yeah don't bend over backwards trying to appease people who already don't like you yeah. that's that's a good rule for a lot of people I mean again you know was, I think he was pleasing one person which was basically Murdoch and then and was, himself yeah he was pleasing himself under the desk having a this is not running. Well, I'm just obviously just dealing with these guys first. Okay. I just don't want anything coming uh, coming up my back passage. Like as skeleton were. buddy. Oh, oh bloody fuck's hell. sake. Have we got a thing that, like, alerts yeah. everything to our presence or something? Is there something going on with that? No. We're just thick and crap at this game. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, da, 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 da. um So yes, we got Malcolm Turnbull question. now. Yeah. Who might not be much better, but at least he seems to know how to play the game a bit. I think pers are they gonna like a sort of because he's argued for sort of Australia being a republic. He's you know not a religious zealot, but Escape. he was because you know, he was in charge of the party briefly, but the problem is he annoys the kind of weird religious fundamentalists and um, you know, kind of far right crazies that sort of help make up a, a mobile base of the Liberal Party. So that's why it kind of got do, sort of turfed. Do, 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 do. So it's just gonna, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Australian politics is a depressing shit show though, it's just, it is just sad. Well, we just can't seem to hang on to a Prime Minister these days. Uh, oh, uh, uh, there's, uh, Ow! Oh, oh. Well, so much for that plan. I think it's maybe they gave, they had time to catch up because you had to heal, I think was probably the issue. No, I had time to catch up because I couldn't sustain a sprint because my stamina ran out. Okay. Uh, we'll chalk this up to some rust, you know, we've... Yes. We've, you've been busy, you I, know. I got off a plane this morning at 6am, yeah. what's your excuse? Um, oh, you know, just garden variety, terrible. I have special needs. You sure are. It's okay, a very can... horrible garden that you are yeah. a variety of. Yeah. It's like two cacti and a plastic plant. And there's a 
overturned supermarket trolley with a baby seal choking in between the the uh, frame. It's just prickles. It's all just prickles. It didn't. It wasn't sure how it got its head stuck in there in the first Ow. place. But it doesn't seem to have much of a plan to get out now. Mm, okay. Now watch out for the gaps. <laughs> Mind the gap. Come on, why don't you dicks fall into the gap, you fucking dicks? Maybe they will. Come on, come on, I just need to get there in time. Oh, figs. <laughs> oh, figs. Yep, that keeps happening. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's a valid life choice. I don't, I don't, that's not... We're just gonna have to deal with them, but something keeps... Something's churning their butter. They're all hopping down at once. Let's have an exploration on the other path, maybe, for a bit. No, right. that's loser talk. Hey, you know what you should do? You should get out your fucking, um, you know, if they come out again, you should put the lance into the other weapon slot. Well, that would add to our equip load. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, it just, if, if they all come at once, you could bottleneck them, and then that's, you know, that's Thrust City, man. That's your, that's your fucking game. That's, this is your moment. This is your time to shine. You're gonna I glimmer think like I a would gold. rather just not have to deal with them all en masse in the first place. Oh, we've killed enough so that some of the dicks aren't showing up. Oh, yeah. That's always depressing. I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of happy. Those guys were assholes. Yeah, an asshole who will never again yield souls for us to use. They should make Dark Souls 3 should be about the place that these people go when they die ten times. <laughs> it's just... Probably. What's this? Other hell. Probably is come to that. Yeah, this is the other fucking doom dimension of fucking darkness and stuff. Here's the demons you've been killing over and over and over again. Here's all the people from internet boss runs. You see what I mean about the frame rate? And the general V tearing, not, like. Not really. Probably just because we're recording. Gonna chalk that up to the fact that you've been on a plane. Well, what's that going to do with the computer performance? Well, I, no, I, I don't think the computer's slowing down because of your brain. I think your brain is not noticing the weird V-tearing and the, or the, you know, the tearing and the fucking massive frame rate drops. Could be my contact lenses are a bit dusty and all. <laughs> Maybe your contact lenses are just like their future contact lenses that make everything 60 frames. Even like old games, you know, even... Yeah. Everything that's hard, hard locked to 30 frames is just not 60. We should market them. Yep. PC master face. They go in your eyes. Nice. Yeah. Marketing genius. That's how I got so good at naming things and uppities. Stop rambling. So you're lucky. That, Only one of them came even, this time. That wasn't even waffling. That was just wittering. I was running out of breath and everything. Ah, uh, fucking... Luck ain't got nothing to do with it. Fuck you. I just happen to know you don't... You can't... Go forward too quick. And it helps to break line of sight as well. Oh, okay. Come I on. Didn't know there was line. Down the pole. Show us your <sighs> show us your knickers. <sighs> That's the way. Come on, little whippersnapper. Just stand there for a bit and take a bopping. I can't wait till these dicks don't that show up a anymore. Bopping, that was a squelch. It <laughs> was a slobber knocker. The exact, exact definition of a good old-fashioned country slobber knocker. Um. Hey. I don't edit your Wikipedia now because we answered that one. Um, yes, we did Okay, if you were contracted to write the next installment of your least favorite video game franchise, how would you make it good? By Zalachenko. Hmm. This interests me. I want to hear what you want to say about this. What's... Okay, why am I? Why do I have to be on the spot? Because you're a fucking writer who makes video games and also critiques them. So yeah, that's I'm like it's to, literally it's like custom made for you. I'm trying to kill Dr. Frankenfurter's discipline class. <laughs> well, weren't you? Because I mean, you had a you know almost a connection to Duke Nukem, but I mean we've just got to discuss well, that's that. That was hardly so. my least favorite video game. Franchise. Um, well, like I was just right, rattle off some games, game franchise you hate. Uh, Final Fantasy. There we go. Okay, so how would you fix that? Uh, well, it's difficult to say because I'm also a businessman, and <laughs> I know that make a lot of money. Whatever I do is to the Final Fantasy is going to alienate the core fan base, 
I, mean, I don't know what the hell they want. Well, let's ignore the what, business component. I don't know what those guys are seeing in the Final Fantasy series that makes them go, this is good, this is quality stuff. Well, let's, let's just, let's rule that out as a factor in this hypothetical. Okay. I would go back to turn-based, turn-based combat. Not just, not these bloody hybrid systems. I haven't played any ones, any of them recently, so what's, describe the hybrid system to me. Well, the hybrid system is where they want to, like, keep the turn-based combat legacy of the JRPG, but they also want to have some active elements in combat as well. Mm-hmm. So they have this stupid thing where you're running around in real time, but you can only attack after a certain amount of time has passed. And I think Tales of Symphonia had something yeah, similar Yeah, it probably to that. did. And, you know, shit like the combat system in Nino Kuni. No, I, mean, I, I, just, I just feel turn-based combat as a system has been perfected. You can't improve it by adding elements of a completely different combat system. Because it's just dumb shit. So that's what I do. I go straight back to Final Fantasy VI style turn-based back to normal. Mm-hmm. And don't mess with perfection. Okay, well, that's a gameplay mod. What about a uh, story? Monst- monsters in. Kill, kill, kill. Select, select, select. Smack, smack, smack. Monsters out. What uh, What would you do to the story? Well, I'd make the good old-fashioned morality tale. Ooh. Yep, I'll do that. I don't... Yeah, you want to fucking... Ooh. Oh, fucking Mr. Eager. There he is. They do respawn! Fucking bullshit! Yeah, these, these ones do. That's lame. Revive a bull. Ugh, God damn it, just. Yeah, alright, no, fucking. He, no, he's not coming back. Alright, let's find this other fucking trash ass dick nut. Oh. Oh, you got a bow and arrow. Oh, there's people behind you. I want to see this fucking thing dead. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all want to see that. <laughs> Adventure roll! Alright, that guy's backing out right into the path of it, so... Oh, there's a lot. Uh, 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 and this is happening. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, it happened again. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Well, oh look, now they all fucking now yeah, now, yeah, now they all get knocked down. I love how the fucking hitbox of that thing is like a fucking mini until you need it. Yeah, I think they got stuff coming out of the wheels. Yeah, yeah, but it just ben sometimes it hits, but some you know some others are just like mm, nope. <sighs> Jesus, now, release me from this. Edge forward carefully. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna jump fucking down take it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it real slow because I I want to have a crack at the fucking. Good, know. have a oh, crack at oh, it. They're gone. All by myself. Oh, he's gone too. So yeah, all they're all hanging out somewhere waiting to get me. It's Final Fantasy. Nice simple plot, please. There's an evil guy who wants to kill the world. None of this rubbish with a uh, main character is actually the dream of a dying city from the past or whatever the fuck was going on in Final Fantasy X and his oh. and his dad is a giant whale uh, JRPG plots and whatever the hell was going on in Kingdom Hearts <laughs> yeah because that seems so simple at the outset like what's Kingdom Hearts oh it's Disney that sounds well, fun if you right, say he's, so he's just wandering off uh, should, I, should I deal with him? Deal with just, him, because yeah, he'll be okay. back. He'll, yeah, he's coming back this no, way. Oh, yep, there he is. And watch out for the skeleton. For the skeleton. Fucking Tiger Knee. See? Fucking Tiger Knee and... Damn it. <laughs> fucking eat a fucking pile of it, jerks. That's not even a weapon. What the fuck is that? That's a dream catcher. Gonna sneak up on me and fucking bot me with something like that? Well, it's doing the trick. <sighs> Dark Souls is bullshit. Alright, yeah, look at him. Oh, look at him. I'm up here catching more dreams. Fucking dick. There Back to the West End markets. Alright, now I'm getting the fuck away, so there's no... I'm not having any of this fucking stack of them bullshit. Yes, well done. Missed yeah. me, missed me, missed me. And they, now that... They like their flying knee kicks. That it eats all your fucking... Um, endurance goes away when they hit you with that. It's just 
Fucking someone's been teaching them Muay Thai. Who did that? Who's fucking sneaking, sneaking down here, instructing the fucking I guess they demons just, and greeblies in basic martial arts? They just naturally learned it from the, the time in the forest. Oh man, I can block that forever. Uh, satisfies. All right, so I'm gonna snuggle over to this wall because I don't want one of those dick bags to see me. All right, this is. I think this is the most progress I've made. All right, All right now here I comes see another. You. Yeah, I see you. Right, fucking, I know you're here. No. Well, at least I got that. Is there a question you get asked all the time but hate? Is there a question you'd love to answer but never get asked? That's from third to the left. Oh, okay. Well, oh. you know, the usual question that I hate is, you know, how do you come up with this stuff? Where do you get your ideas? Your magic brain. Yeah, that's all there is to it, really. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the jar you keep it in overnight. Like, it, it's a... Uh... I mean, if... If, Pulsates. If your brain doesn't come up with stuff the way mine does, then I don't know what to tell you. You have to have had exactly the same upbringing and creative growth and exposure to the same inspirations. And then your brain will come up with stuff the same way mine does. He did that once before. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> it just hops down and goes, oh, You know what? I'm just going to go for well, a and walk off the edge. All my friends are dead. See you later. Wee. You know, not, just not saving, fall off. just saving time for yeah. you. What he actually feels a bit guilty. You know, he's like, oh, you know, I've been kind of a dick these last few runs. Yeah, was... What an agreeable S and M flying knee kick, mummy. <laughs> okay, now I need to find this fucking shit because I don't want to deal with this fucking skeleton horde bullshit. Okay, where's a hole? Crap! Oh, shit! I went in too early. Now they've got time to gang up on me. Okay, now move it. There he is. Go away. Go away. No, look at the one I'm facing. Oh, you got edged by the chariot. How? I was in the hole. The fucking skeleton standing hitting you don't get hit when they're there. The game begs to differ. Oh, fucking... F like, We're you've been, you've had your back to the wall. Had a skeleton standing in front of you and they haven't been hit. Yes. And then I'm in the fucking little alcove where I'm supposed to be. Well, and, apparently oh, not. No, now, now the fucking hurt box extends out. No, you did it wrong. You're a crap out. Ugh. I do it right. I, I just get, right. keep getting mobbed by them fucking skeletons. Oh, yeah. The guy that does everything right we certainly died a lot. So, if you, what's your least favorite game franchise? <sighs> um, hmm... Hmm. Hey, I think we've lost more guys. Yes, alright. Well, fucking silver lining on this bullshit. Better make the effort to get those um, blood Okay, things. game franchise I don't like. Uh, yep, looks um, like... Oh, no, there he is. No, yeah. I don't think we've, I think we've barely really dealt with this guy, so... Oh, there he goes for the knee. Um, okay, game franchise I don't like with a dumb fucking story. Uh, I'd probably try, okay, I like, this is, this, I like the games, I find the stories a cluster, I'd probably go for, like, the Metal Gear Solids, like, because it says, how would you write them, so I'm not fiddling with the gameplay, really, it's just, you know. Well, maybe you are. Um, I don't know, are they using write, like, the old sort of term for code? They may well be. Oh, okay. Just, let's assume write means design. Okay, alright. Um, well, I'm, uh, for... Yeah, fuck it, I will. You know, I'm gonna go for this. Because my housemate's been playing through Metal... Have you played Metal Gear Solid Five? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I here, reviewed okay. it, well, like, I, before I, I left. I forgot whether or not you'd reviewed it or not. I mean, I remember... I vaguely remember discussing it. Um, Cooey! <laughs> but, uh... My housemate beat it and didn't realize he'd finished the last stage. Like, yeah, I, did, I didn't actually finish the game huh. at the time I had to review it. Huh. I just got to, you know, the point where you know your opinion's not gonna change. Well, that's because apparently there's there's stages after the last stage that are like challenge stages. Yes, that was the case in uh, the previous one, Peace Walker, as well. Yeah. The actual story story end isn't until you've done some like extra challenge stuff. Yeah, and there's credits apparently like before and after. Yes, stages. So 
he's beaten this stage and has gone, okay, I don't want to see the fucking credits again. And that, but that, that was apparently the end. Like, and I just think, I think any kind of situation where you could not know you've finished the game, I think is a serious fucking oversight. Like, I don't think that's a very good design. Well, I guess it uh, depends what you mean by finish the game. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, there should be, like, even sort of your big overworld games that let you piss fart around after the fact usually have a the end, and then, all right, here you go. Go muck about. I think Hideo Kojima is of the school that believes a game is not truly done until it is 100%ed. That's it. I don't... Ugh. I understand the philosophy of wanting to give players a bit more if they put the effort into 100%ed. I'm not sure I agree with that being essential to the canon story and shit. No, I mean, I like, you know, I like fluff, I like extras, that's, I think extras are fine, but extra again should be in addition to a complete, not the complete. We all like fluff. Delightful fluff. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if he's gonna do the... Uh, nope, no, nope, this today. one's got a reason to live, apparently. Let's take that away from him. Your fucking whip of no... No effort to block. Ha 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 ha. <sighs> Back to this fucking chariot, God damn it! I wonder if the Grand Lance will do any better. Probably not. It moves you forward an awful lot. Yeah. Like that's, I think it's going to be an issue where you try to snuggle. As well. Yeah. I just think if we could one-shot the guys, it might make things a little bit harder well, to I'm get mobbed. Still fucking miffed about that last one because I was in my back was to the goddamn wall. Well, you can't. The game doesn't do things out of spite. Clearly, I you were in don't range. Believe that. The um, game is just programmed to. I, well, I, no, I think it's do like what a, it does. Like, you know, it's a, a sort of lingering thing of the uh, Dark Souls games in general is just, there's a certain jankiness that can occasionally play into your hands, but not always. Sit, sit, bollocks. <laughs> well, that was quick. Uh, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. And they so, go. I don't know. I probably, I'm like, apparently you, you know, there's like a few weird twists in the fucking game. How, how long have we been doing this now? An hour and 40 minutes. All right. So we're, we're coming close to the, the wrapping up point. Um, or at least, you know, a bridging point. Uh, I'd... You know, I, 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 I don't like it when a series has loads of twists just to have twists. So, I, I don't know, I'd maybe, like, just tidy up mm, the, the fucking... I don't know what the twists bit. are, so I couldn't really comment. Um, oh, yeah, that's right, you didn't finish it, did you? Yeah. So, what would you do differently? Just... Just sanify it by about 10 or 15%, you know? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what code is as, like. Easy as that, like, is it? Yeah, like, I'd take some of the, like... You know, I'm thinking back to the ending of Metal Gear Solid 4 where they, like, revived characters to talk to you. Like, I, Metal Gear Solid 4, the ending should have ended, like, ten minutes earlier than it did with him shooting himself. I don't think that is by any means a controversial opinion. Well, no, it's not asking me what's controversial, it's just what would I do, so... Ugh. Fucking butthole. Do you get asked questions? And are there any you that you hate? Okay. He's gonna come back. And what question would you love to answer? Um, See, that's a kind of a dumb question itself. Yeah, I'm not sure Because that's kind of to... your job. Yeah. You're supposed to be coming up with questions we will love to answer. Well, I mean, we might as well just write our own if you're going to yeah. do that. Yahtzee, how'd you get so handsome? Uh, I wished upon a star. There you go. Gabriel, uh, why do your kisses taste like honey? Because oh, I'm just such a sweetie. Oh. Yeah. There we go. It's funny because your asshole tastes like horseradish. <laughs> That's um, um, my curative enemas. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of those. Yes. Just uh, ho horseradish to the prostate, vigor I, for the whole day. I really hope someone listening to this had some liquid in their mouth when I said that. <laughs> I would like to know where that liquid ended up. Uh, yep. look, look at that not affect my fucking stamina. Ah, oh, just... Well, what do you want? It's a whip, yeah, and you've got a metal it's shield. Just, I just like, I, I wish they could all have whips. I just... Alright, uh, yeah. Don't Any take that we... out of context. <laughs> what are your favourite stand-up comedians? By M. Kleister. Oh, well, Doug Stanhope prevented a suicide, so that was pretty nice of him. Good for him. Yeah. Is that all? Um... Well, I was just something that popped in. Because I know Doug's like, you, you really like Doug Stanhope, don't you? 
Yes, yeah. I quite like him. Um, yeah, I like him too. Um, Patton Oswalt, you know, usually fucking great. Who did I watch recently? Louis C.K. You know. Chewed up, still a fucking just a brilliant piece. And his um, his opening to Saturday Night Live was like fairly on fucking you know, in form for him. I grew up watching Eddie Izzard. I think um, that was one of the influences on my writing and speaking style. Yeah. I also quite like uh, John Richardson. Um, who's he? I think he talks about him. He's like a... He's like a comedy northerner. Ah. With OCD tendencies that he gets a lot of mileage out of. Yeah. And he does panel shows. I love panel shows. Isn't UK TV like 80% panel shows at this point? Yes, and not enough. <laughs> Should be all More panel panels. shows, 24-7. Just grab strangers off the street, shake them, put them in a makeup chair, and then dump them in front of a fucking desk. You know what I was thinking? American politics could really use a Have I Got News For You. Isn't that basic? Like, aren't there a few sort of... Have I Got News For You is basically become a sort of rite of passage for politicians and public figures in the UK. And if you, and if you don't go on... And you, if, and you, if you go on and come across as a good sport, and take it well, then it can do wonders for your career. Look at Boris Johnson; he was on there a few times, and then everyone loved him, and he became mayor of London. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it can be a harrowing experience if you're like a dodgy politician. Yeah, if you're getting asked, asked actual questions, because if you're not ah uh, shit biscuits, if you're not familiar with Vagon News for you, it's an irreverent comedy news quiz. Shit. In which the that wasn't a hole. Oh, there was one. In which the, reg the regular panellists are a guy, Ian Hislop, who runs Private Eye, a satirical magazine, and who always goes straight for the kill, <laughs> and is completely unashamed about confronting guests with their wrongdoing. And the other regular panellist is Paul Merton, who is a, also a very irreverent comedian who just sort of throws people curveballs all the time. That's a good double team like to have, like the straight and the yeah. fucking peculiar. I mean, they have a sort of combative relationship, but um, they work together as a team to take apart, you know, dodgy guests. So and and I think that's something American politics could really use. Imagine, like, Donald Trump going on something like that. Well, what about things like Daily Show? And so, I mean, how would it compare, like, in your mind? Like, how would you compare, like, um, have I got news to you to Daily Show? Because from, from this basic description, they feel like the same thing. Well, I guess the thing with have I got news for you is that it's become a sort of... It's so, it's not so much uh, not not it, hmm. it's not so much dismissed as just television. I guess it's it's part of the political game now. So it's built up a sort of uh, power of its own. Yeah, you go on. If I got news for you, and uh, it can help a political career or a media career, it can tank it. Spinner Rooney. Because I was apparently like Ian Hislop for like. His work on this show is like consistently rated as a uh, one of the most journalist. yeah one of the most trustworthy figures in the British media because he's you know honest and confronting and upfront upfront about his principles. And I think American comedy media d tends to be less upfront with its principles. It tends to you know it, it, it's it's less irreverent to the subject's face mm. if you see what I mean. Yeah. All talk. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to, like, rip someone apart when he's not sitting right next to you. Actually, fuck that. I mean, the, well, the one thing American politics needs is Prime Minister's questions. Yeah. Can you imagine George Bush doing that? I just, I want Trump to be elected because I think America needs to hit rock bottom. George Bush was never permitted to be in a position where he would have to give a speech without having been briefed first. And Prime Minister's questions is just that. It's just yeah. the Prime Minister, for a few hours every afternoon, has to answer random questions from elected ministers that he has not been briefed for. And the way he responds to those questions illustrates his skill as an orator and a leader. Mm. And if an American president had to do that, perhaps there'd be some uh, people with some actual smarty know-how in the position. I don't know, man. At this point, people are just allowed to say things that are objectively divergent from reality and no one seems to give a shit, so... Well, quite. I've noticed that. See? Tiger Knee and Sneaky Dodge. Look at him, look at him! Oh, he's fucking got tech! Did you see... Bob. Did you hear Obama's speech after the latest shooting? 
He sounded so tired and sad. <laughs> I don't blame him for being tired and sad. He's like, hey, everyone, every country has lunatics, people. Yeah. Not every country has gunship massacres every so few weeks. So particular to you guys. Every few weeks. Every few weeks now. And like, you know, again, this guy, this guy specifically said too, like, you know, if you shoot if you shoot up a place, you get lots of attention. And yeah. what, well, you know, what do they do? Name and face all over the media again. You see, I think Obama was shooting himself in the foot, saying like, "This only happens in America," because that sort of triggers the pride gene, doesn't it? It's like, "Fuck you, <laughs> class of our own, bitch." <laughs> yeah, number one in shooting massacres. At least we're number yeah. one in something. Yeah, if we all had guns; it'd be fine. I mean, why do you think? They still use the Imperial system. That is funny. Well, you know what's fucking weird? Imperial system for everything, drugs are metric. In Australia, it's the metric system for everything, drugs are an Imperial. Huh. Funny yeah, that. Uh, it's the damnedest fucking thing. Right then. Take... I want to say 15? 20? What are we up to? Yeah, this is... Undead... Pur this is purgatory. This is you, you, just... You know what? Mm. I'm gonna life gym it up. Oh, I was still wearing this horrible jumper. <laughs> this right. can only give us an advantage, right? Yeah, well, especially when you get in, like, you know, Cuddle City. I wonder if there are any summons around here. Oh, I don't think a summon would have helped in this situation. I mean, what you know, what's the NPC gonna do? Stand around and just go, and then get run over. Oh, probably. Well, there might be a. A PC summon. Uh, well, that's... Uh, or not. Uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I think the, Escapades. An the ants have found their dinner. <laughs> that guy's just... I'm just going to watch this guy. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as to where he's going. Woo woo! I'm all aboard the man train. <laughs> We're going to get him back. Oh. No. Going to get him back to the... Spoil nest, sports. Take him apart. And then eat him. Right, let's be a bit more measured this time. Uh, yeah, I think the issue was running f too far forward seems like a good way of getting stuff done, but it also activates too many of these dicks. Fucking... Just fuck. This is our last go through now too, because it's, it's been two hours. Oh, there we go. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. Not quite. I don't know what to say there. Oh, we've got time for you to hum humiliate yourself again. Uh, hasn't this Super tit biscuits. Hasn't this video been fun, listeners? A riveting comeback. A return to form, I think. Banging is. our head against the same boss fight for an hour. I know. This is... Not even the boss fight exactly, like, just a lot of the bullshit around the boss, really. Although I suppose the, this is one of those bullshit bosses, where it says, here's a bunch of crap to annoy you. Well, that's every Dark Souls boss. Um, oh, but some of them are just a big, you know, it's like, what are you, oh, I'm, oh, I'm big, hit me, and then that's kind of simple. Some of these guys got to be despawning at some point. Oh, please, Jesus. Please, Jesus, stop unspawning them. Stop spawning. Oh, no, no, he's still there. <laughs> Fucking still about. Still prancing about. Do you reckon I could make a... No, no. Yeah, we tried that, remember? Yeah, well, I thought maybe some of them might have stopped, so... You woke the skeleton up. Mistakes have been made. Yes, they have. And who made the mistakes? Um, I don't know, someone. There we go, look at that. Alright. Incidentally, uh... Fucking two in a row. Incidentally, sorry we didn't I give... fucking block that. Sorry we didn't give much warning that we were going offline for a few weeks. I wanted to record... One last episode before I left, but Gabriel happened. Um, yeah, I had shit to do. Yeah. I, I told you like a week before that I was flying out on the next Sunday, and we were all set to record on the next Saturday, the day before I left. And then you sent me a message on the Saturday saying, could we do this tomorrow instead? And I said, um, no, because I told you last week I'm leaving on a jet plane. I got a ticket to ride. <laughs> Fucking two, stop. No, that's meant to be backslash. Right, I guess well, it's just not his back for some reason. Well, this is going well so far. Yeah, you know, onward and upward. 
At least we got our big That's moustache a, back. Got some red eye orbs. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, Whippy. You little... Come on, Mr. Whippy. Yeah. Huh, a whole bunch of blood Ooh, stains. Look at the blood. Well, at least we're not uh, alone. I'm gonna fucking do nothing if... Alright, that's the back. The back is on the left-hand side for some reason. Crazy. Bonk. Whatever you gave me. I'm sure it was tasty. Uh, where is he? There he is. I think line of sight, really, because he was further away, but... Yeah. See us. Yes, I think that is it. Alright, I did the... Okay, clearly you didn't. No, I did the I did the activation animation for a backstab, but I hit him kind of in the face, so just sort of. Huh. Well, I guess he spins around a bit. Yeah. Hey, listeners, shall we take bets on whether Gabriel will beat the chariot this time? I'm betting no. In fact, I will bet actual money. I will bet it. you all the American dollars I had left over from the cash I took with me. Alright. Do we even need to activate that guy? Well, otherwise he's going to pop up behind us. Oh, does he? Yeah. Alright. We could just run to the door. Fireball to you. Fireball to you, chum. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Great balls of... Something. It's coming to me. <laughs> Not fire. Great balls of seasonal warmth. Great balls of cotton wool. Great gobs of cotton. Great balls of scrotum. He married his cousin. Goodness gracious. Great balls of pork mince. She was 12. What are you talking about now? Jerry Lee Lewis married his like 13 or 12 year old cousin. Well, it's not as bad as Lewis Carroll. <laughs> yeah. At least he made an honest woman of her. Move it, move it, kill the thing, kill the thing. It'll be on the left. No! Good lord. Okay, I... Uh, Get into an archway, if I were you. Here comes the chariot. Okay, take stock. Okay, the next summoner will be in a right hand alcove. Okay. How did hey. you not get hit? You see what I mean? Yeah, I guess sometimes the hitbox is a bit flighty there. Watch it. Uh -oh. On the right, on the right. Alright, what's that do? Wanna... Pull it, pull it, pull it. Thanks, thanks for leaving me alone, champ. Okay, now what? Now wait for the fireworks. Uh, kill the skeletons. And watch out for the, those horsies. Okay, I'm not going to be good in here, am I? No, I'd get out of there if I were you. No, heal, heal up. Ideally, not while you're in the way of the bloody horses. Well, you said, now heal up. I'm like, alright, well, maybe I he's got a bad attack pattern. Or I meant to avoid him first. Okay. Well, you didn't say that. Well... At least we made some progress there. Yeah, I actually crashed the fucking thing. Well done. So, you know, I beat the summoners. I managed to not get into a fucking skeleton cuddle cupboard. Let's, uh, let's leave it there then. Yeah. And next time, we'll have to relearn all this again. Ha 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 ha. Oh, glory, glory. And yet you keep coming back. What the fuck is wrong with you, viewers? Yeah, you funny little buggers. Anyway, more questions for next time. We yeah. ran out. Alright, so yeah, organize a question thread. Yeah. Good job, champs. Do all the work. We don't we can't be asked. Yep. And Alrighty. next time in the story of Douglas Uppity, what happened after Stephen Confident knocked on the door?
of the house where all the living furniture was. And then he tickled you this, yeah, the, the living furniture aquarium. And hopefully a dead executioner's chariot, which probably won't be that worth it, because as I said, it's an optional boss. <laughs> well, we'll get, we'll get some levels out of it. That's, I you know... feel slightly demoralized. <laughs> Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Oh, okay. That's there we where go. I was going wrong. I wasn't yeah. cheering up. Yep. Oh, I'm less demoralized now. It's, it's that easy. I can't believe it was that simple. Chip, chip, chiroo. Now I can chippity. stop taking antidepressants. Yeah. It's just chippity, chip, chip, chippities. Choppity, chip, chips. Cheer up. I will say those very <laughs> words to my psychiatrist. <laughs> All right. Bye. Toodles.